Coach Santos. Great technique, by the way, man. Thanks. I like that stuff. You're mean on top. I remember watching you. Yeah, sometimes, uh, you know, if, if it's not technique, you just got to turn with uh, being a little mean. A little attitude? A little attitude. A little, little, little brick, brick jersey attitude? Yeah, it goes a long way. Uh, you know, looking at Columbia, the uh, 100 colleges here, they're in Manhattan. Um, you guys are the only Division One in Manhattan. Um, I don't think you got to sell New York City to anyone, do you? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, it's, uh, you know, everyone knows New York City, and it's the center of uh, almost every a lot of fields. So uh, Earth? I, th I say yeah. I say humanity and earth. Yeah. No, seriously, because my my uh, phone re reception's bad here, and I'm like, wait a minute. The center of human civilization's ten miles away as the crow flies. Mm -hmm. Why is my phone not working? Yeah, right. Uh, I was like, what is that? <laughs> but but you know, you look at obviously you have you know. Uh, I was actually talking to Coach Gray. He's he's a Cornell grad. You're a Columbia grad. So it's like you're speaking right from it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like you experience it. You're an all-American there. Um, how, what does that give you as far as leg up recruiting wise for for, for Columbia? Um, I think it just helps, you know, uh, connect with the guys. Um, you know, I've been through the same things. These guys are uh, have high academic goals and high wrestling goals, and uh, I just can, um, you know, being from Columbia, I kind of know the ins and outs of uh, what it takes to kind of excel on in both those levels and manage that day-to-day -day lifestyle of an Ivy League graduate or Ivy League college wrestler, which is, uh, you know, a little bit different than maybe the, the rest of the programs out there. So it's definitely helpful to uh, be able to share my experience with them and, and, and kind of give them that knowledge that I, I learned kind of going through it, trial and error wise. You're an economist. <laughs> Do you get the magazine, by the way? Uh, you have an economic degree from yeah. from from Columbia, right? Mm -hmm. So that would usually put you in logistics or you could be doing obviously number crunching or you could work for a lot of the firms in Manhattan. Uh, you know. Before wrestling derailed all that, as I like to say, you know, you're a coach instead of, uh, you know, working yeah. in business. Um, you know, what was the goals going into it for you personally as a student and an athlete? Um, when I was going into Columbia? Yeah. yeah, when you're going in, like, what are you thinking? Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live in the city here. Is that the thought in your mind? Uh, yeah, no, I think, uh, you know, coming out of high school, I just kind of wanted the the best opportunity I can can have and um, Columbia spoke out to me because like you said it's from it's in New York City and uh, it's, I like to think it's the the best city in the, in the world and uh, it was one of the top edge of top five schools in the country at the time and I got to wrestle D1 so I saw it as a no-brainer of getting the best of these three worlds and I wanted to have the opportunity to do Pretty much not limit my options if i wanted to wrestle i got that wrestling and then i also was able to get that academic side and then i was also able to enjoy you know everything the city has to offer so um i just wanted to maximize my opportunity by putting myself in a place where i can get all three of those you know, i think you're columbia's last all-american yeah 149 mm -hmm. mean just gritty tough dude how do you give that to your athletes you know that's hard to transfer man some guys got it, some guys don't, but how do you coach them every day? How do you motivate guys? And how do you get, kind of like, give them a little bit of Steve Santos? How do you do that? Yeah, I think it's something that uh, gets built over time. You know, you, you kind of work at it every day in the room, kind of pushing yourself to a new level every day. And uh, those workouts are kind of like, um, you know, deposits in a bank. You know, if you push yourself past that limit, um, you know, on Monday and you come back Tuesday and, and do the same, you know, over time, once you get to the uh, NCAA tournament, all those all those practices are going to add up and you're going to be one uh, one tough dude. So I think it's something that's just built every day in practice and reminding them why we're here, have fun and, and be a little mean in there. You're at C3, you know, compound, the Compound College Combine. Um, Cliff Froutwell puts it on. Uh, it's a pretty good event. Uh, what are you guys looking for in a future Lion here? Future Columbia Lion, what are you looking for in a kid in there? I think uh, just, just a kid who, um, like I said, um, works hard and, and loves the sport and you know they're, they're here on the weekend working out and I just want to see a guy that, that goes after it every every time is it you know uh, trying to soak up that technique when they're going live they're pushing themselves and, and their opponent and just a, just a guy who's um, you know ready to bring it and, and move on to that next level. You guys can recruit anywhere you know it's not like ah we worry about Jersey or we worry about Wyoming or California, you can recruit anywhere. Mm -hmm. You can recruit, recruit Hawaiian guys, you, everyone, right? Yeah. You can go international. It's Columbia, right? Mm -hmm. um, what do you guys look for? Do you have weight classes that you look for? Do you recruit students? What do you do and how do you, what's the recruiting process for you guys as far as what does Columbia need? What do you go for? Just good guys, 
obviously super smart guys. We need a 33 pounder. We need a 49 pounder. How do you do that? How do you narrow that down? It's a little bit of both. It depends on the year. You know, obviously we got to recruit for, for certain weight classes. If, if we got seniors graduating, uh, that might be our priority for that year. But uh, overall, we just look for the, the best wrestlers and the smartest guys that we can. Um, we want to build the room and, and that happens by bringing the best guys in that we can and, and getting them all into one place with the common goal. I think it goes a long way. So we don't really kind of limit ourselves to guys that are, you know, the best the best uh, academics or wrestlers or uh, it's, it's a little bit of both. We, we kind of need to get guys that, that get, have a little bit of both and um, that's kind of where we go from there. Do you have slots? Are you like Penn? Uh, we can bring eight, eight guys in. I got to have a guy with a 36 if I want to get a guy with a 25 in on ACT, let's say. Do you guys do the same similar yeah, thing? Yeah, like same. That? same uh, I think it's uh, pretty formula pretty slots. Pretty common right? in the Ivy League. Same, same kind of slot th uh, slot um, spot system yeah. with, that we get every year and it's kind of a uh, little bit of a puzzle to, to piece together our best recruiting class each year. But you're an economist and a Columbia grad so it's probably not too hard. No, yeah, I, I get to use that uh, Columbia degree a little bit maybe. All right. Not too much though. So. All right, so guys are scrapping in there. I don't want to keep you away from too much longer. You got anything else for me? No, just uh, thanks for having me here and it's a great event.